Well, first tonight, the future king and his historic visit to Australia. For the dashing young Prince William, second in line to the throne, this is an important trip. His every move will be watched by Buckingham Palace and the rest of the world. My brother and I were lucky enough to grow up supported by the love and nurturing of our family. The fact that he's going to be there is important for Australians, I would suggest, and very important for Prince William. It'll be very interesting to see what he says, how he sounds, how he presents himself. If, you know, what... I think it's pretty shameful that he has not been there for 27 and a bit years. And providing there's not too many rat bags from the British media out here to spoil it all, I think he'll have a very good time. We've watched him morph before our very eyes, from shy schoolboy to dashing prince. And now he's being groomed for a new chapter of royal duties. At 27 years of age, Prince William is about to embark on a trip to Australia. It's a crucial test for the young man who would be king. This is the first time he's been on his own, and it is incredibly important, not only to him, but to the Queen. William asked to go to Australia. The Queen thought this was a brilliant idea. She says, yes, get to know Australian people. One day you will be king and you need to know the place a bit more. There's, there's lots of examples of the royals using Australia as a testing ground. I love her. Like they understand that we're good humoured and good natured and we're easy come. And you know, if they make a mistake, we're not going to hold it against them. Oh, I think that could have been Adelaide. It was so hot. Royal correspondent James Whittaker says the royal family has always had a deep fondness for Australia. But Prince William hasn't been here since a visit with mum and dad back when he was nine months old. <laughs> Which way first? Again, this time, like all grown up, he's going solo, handling a packed schedule of formal engagements. What he has to do is to train much, much more to be the king one day. He needs to get out and meet the people, and this to me is the beginning of that process. Uh, I'll tell you to off For the last few years, Prince William has focused almost entirely on his military career. Three years ago, in an interview with NBC's Matt Lauer, Prince William said his ambition was to fly. I'd like to fly helicopters, definitely. I'd like to be some sort of heli pilot, you know, working for the UN maybe or something like that. Go off and do some, you know, I'd have to be doing something active um, outside and, and doing sort of fun stuff, but with an edge to helping people. He's got his wish. This year, he's set to complete his training as a search and rescue pilot. And the prince isn't afraid of rolling up one's sleeves in the name of a good cause. In December, he spent a shivering night on the streets of London to promote a homeless charity. Yes, that's him in the hoodie. And I was in London in December, and it was cold. I tell you, the wind was coming from Siberia. I can't believe you'd want to sleep on the streets. It'd be vile. And, and he did that. I, I don't remember a member of the British royal family ever doing such a thing. Perhaps it's the inspiration of his mother, Princess Diana, that spurred William to help others. You lose something or someone that important to you, you you're always thinking about them, you know. I mean, straight after it happened, we were always, you know, always thinking about it. And there's not a day goes by, I don't think, you know, that I don't think about it once in the day. I think Diana would be very proud of Prince William. Very proud. He hasn't put a foot wrong, as far as I can say. This is a book uh, that we did when I was publisher of the Australian Women's Weekly on the Queen, and it's sold like hotcakes. Australians couldn't get enough of it. Like her readers, magazine queen Ita Buttrose has long been a fan of the royal family and says Prince William will cause a frenzy when he arrives down under, particularly among the ladies. It's quite a bit problem, right? There's no doubt Prince William is an absolute dish. He's gorgeous. He's handsome. He's personable. He reminds people of his mother. Well, I'm sure it'd be every girl's wish in Australia to snag, to snag Prince William, but, uh, but I feel he's got a girlfriend. I think Kate Middleton, his English girlfriend, uh, is the one. But, but who knows? I mean, we can never predict love. He just might meet a girl on Bondi Beach and bingo. It was on a Perth beach in 1979 that Prince Charles got a kiss from bikini-clad model Jane Priest. James Whittaker, for one, hopes history will repeat itself. I think a pretty girl would rather like giving Prince William a kiss and 
It'd be lovely if it happened. It would be great fun. I hope people aren't too starchy to prevent it. He's warning William's long-term girlfriend, Kate Middleton, to watch out. I suppose he will one day marry Kate, but I'm not convinced that she's the right person at all. And uh, good-looking Sheila would just fit the bill very nicely, I would have thought. Yes, Kate, I think, will be sweating a bit over the next few days. Yeah, there won't be any shortage of good-looking Sheilas who, like Prince William, I will take Harry, though.